Hi, my name is Mark Tekanoff. I'm with Kingston Technology, and you're here, and we're going to show you our SMT process, how we manufacture memory for Kingston. So the first step of the process, basically we're going to take the bare boards, the bare PCBs, and we're going to run them through, and we're going to apply solder to each one of the solder points onto the PCBs. This process is the same for a USB drive, or whether it be a memory or DRAM application, same basic process, similar to what you would do with the motherboards as well. So the first machine basically has a large metal stencil. And if you want, I can show you real quickly. This is what a stencil typically looks like. Uh, there's a bunch of holes that are laser cut into them based on whatever that particular board requirements are. And we put this into the first machine. The first machine will then apply the solder through the stencil onto each of the boards. And the second step of the process is it's then verified using a solder paste inspection process where we actually We'll use a laser, read the solder that's positioned on the boards and verify and make sure that the proper amount of solder is on there. Not too much, not too little, just enough to have the highest quality. Next step of the process is we place all the small components, caps, resistors, EPROMs, onto the motherboards, so, or memory boards. And in this case, this machine is very fast with a Gatlin gun. It picks up the caps and resistors off the backside and places them directly onto the PCBs. So all small components are placed by the first machine. The, the next step of the process after putting the small components onto the mo modules is we you place the DRAMs or the large devices. Uh, and this machine and this machine are used for placing all the DRAMs onto the DRAM modules. And we have two in line basically to improve the overall efficiency. Two of them twice as fast, essentially. The next step of the process is taking the modules and putting them into an oven and raising the temperature high enough so that the solder melts and the parts stick onto the boards. So this particular system here has seven temperature chambers. Starts at around 150 degrees C and depending on the board, maybe around 255 degrees C. And at some point, the solder reaches the temperature where it becomes molten and the device is then attached. Next step, we cut them off and send them to the testing department. Okay, so I just talked about the oven, how you set it up, the temperature heats up the parts, they get attached. Next steps of the process is another optical inspection. This machine here is used to read the location of all the chips onto the boards to make sure that they're in the proper alignment before we take them out to the testing department. So it's one of our inspection criteria to make sure every single device is tested and then verified before we send it out. The next step of the process is actually a labeling machine where every single module gets labeled while it's still attached to the large panel. So we have all the proper information when it was manufactured, where it was manufactured, which components were used. So when the parts go out to our customers, we can verify exactly when and where it was manufactured. The last step of the SMT process is basically a giant Dremel tool essentially. So inside of here is a high RPM device basically cuts all the edges off of the modules or USB drives, whatever it might be. And basically this material gets cut off and all that's left are the modules that go into our testing department. So that's the basic S SMT process. So once the modules or USB drives are manufactured and ready to be tested, we take them across the room over to this section of the area and we begin the, begin the process of testing every single device 100% electrically. And so in the case of USB drives, what they'll do is they'll plug them into a system and verify that all of the bits are working properly. And in some cases, some of our customers actually ask us to preload their software onto the USB drives. And that's also done at this process. Okay, so the next step of the process is testing the modules. In this case, these are desktop systems. So what we do is we basically configure a desktop and we apply the proper diagnostic tests for what we're trying to accomplish. We plug in the modules, turn on the machines, run them for the proper amount of time to verify all the bits are working properly, run a bunch of different patterns to make sure all type of patterns are working. They pass then and they go on to the next step of the process. So another area of testing in our test department is for our HyperX products. HyperX cases, we typically will use the larger, like a, for example, a cooler from Cooler Master, where we use it to cool the CPU so we can get the higher frequency testing. This is in the case where we're testing 2400 and 2666 megahertz for the latest technology like a Z87 motherboard. Okay, so now we're in the packaging department at Kingston. 
And what we're going to show you is some of the processes that we use for our flash products. So if we walk over to this machine over here, this machine is used for packaging our SD cards for our customers worldwide. So as you can see here, what we do is we bring in the SD cards from our manufacturing facilities offshore in these large trays. And this machine basically picks them up, places them into a carrier, which then gets mounted into a retail pack, and then goes directly into a finished box where <coughs> we're shipping the shipping box completely. So from beginning to end, totally automated at Kingston in California. And if you look over here through this window, you can see as they're getting the final packaging. And then here you can see the retail packaging of the devices. If you shoot through this window here, you'll see the, the retail packs. They'll slide over, place the plastic array into here, fold it over, glue it, seal it. They get placed into the proper 25 packs, which are then sealed and packaged ready to ship to our customers.